everyone, again I'm going to try to make a nice geode painting. In the first part of this video I'm going to show you how I mixed some colors. Then I will do an acrylic ribbon pour. And after it's dry I will add lines, mirror glass and resin. So I hope you enjoy watching my video and will give me a thumbs up for it. So I already started with the first color and the color I'm using is a Winsor & Newton uh, Pearl Terracotta. Then I added um, Artist Junior Glue and I will also add the mix in the description below this video because I added 30 gram of paint, 80 gram of Artist Junior Glue and now I'm going to add water. There you can see it. I always add bit by bit because this, uh, the consistency of these paints should be a little bit thicker than warm honey. Because I want to make nice lines, nice ribbons and if the paint uh, would be uh, too thin then the colors will blend too much together and I don't want that because I want nice lines. Again, a little bit of water. So, uh, again, 30 gram of paint, 80 gram of Artist Junior glue, and you can also use another uh, PVA glue. And in total, I used 34 gram of water. But that difference uh, for each color because or each brand. Because some paints are thicker and other paints are thinner. And this is an opaque color. That's also a difference. Opaque means the viscosity is thicker. But I'm also going to show you how I mix a transparent color. So in total I have 30 gram of paint, 80 gram of glue. And 34 gram of water. I will show you up close in a minute how the consistency looks of this paint. But it should leave a trace uh, for about 2 seconds. And then it should flatten out. There you can see it, but the paint, the mix is is still not done. I'm going to add um, Yosonya's polyurethane gloss varnish, and I'm going to add five gram. So now I have 30 gram of paint, 80 gram glue, 34 gram water, and five gram. Uh, Yo Sonia, and I'm also going to experiment with uh, with this paint because I'm going to add a few drops of alcohol ink because I know the alcohol in the ink will, I think it's called evaporate, and then the particles will stay in the paint. So I'm going to add 20 drops of the Piñata alcohol ink in a color brass. There you can see it. This is uh, also an experiment. Uh, the uh, recipe can change. But if it changes, then I will uh, show it to you again. But for now, I'm using this recipe. So the next color is also from Windsor & Newton, and it's the Windsor Violet. It's a transparent color, and you can already see this uh, consistency of this paint is thinner than the pale terracotta, what I just uh, mixed. So 30 gram. So 
So I'm expecting that I uh, add less water, but I'm going to add 80 gram of glue. What I mentioned, you can also use another PVA glue, but I have this brand. Mix it together. So I'm not going to use any silicon whatsoever. Only paint, glue, water and gloss varnish. And as an experiment, I'm adding a few drop, drops of alcohol ink. So now I'm going to add water. To get it to the right consistency and it should be a little bit thicker than warm honey. Mixing it together. Still too thick, so I'm going to add more water. Five gram of Yosonia. So in total, I added for this color 29 gram of water. So less than I uh, used for the pale terracotta, the first color that I mixed. What I already expected. And there you can see it also in this color, a few drops of alcohol ink in the color violet. So this is an experiment. I don't know. Uh, if it creates effects or not, but I wanted to try it. So I mixed these two colors and now I'm going to use these colors uh, in an acrylic ribbon pour. I, I call it a ribbon pour. I don't know how it's called, but I want to create nice straight lines. What I also did in one of my previous videos, I will include the link to that video in the right corner. Then you can... Uh, Watch how I made that pa painting. What, but I want to create the same effect as I did in that painting. Adding a little bit more water because the paint is still too thick. It should leave a trace for about two seconds. But I'm done with the mixing and now I'm going to make a nice acrylic painting with it. So these are the colors that I'm going to use. I'm going to use as a base Amsterdam Lamp Black, uh, the color I mixed, pale terracotta. I'm also going to use pale violet, a burnt cyan, titanium white, Windsor violet and copper. And I'm going to pour these colors into another paper cup on top of each other. And as you can see, what I already mentioned, the paint should be thicker than warm honey because then they don't blend uh, uh, together. They can see it, they will stay on top of each other. So for this cup, I'm going to use all the colors that I mixed. So all the supplies I'm using in this video you can find at the end of the video but also in the description below this video with the link to the websites. I'm going to start on my second uh, cup. Again, I'm pouring all the colors on top of each other. And for this cup I don't use the dark purple color, the Windsor Violet. And as a base, I'm using an MDF board, and this MDF board is 50 centimeters. And I primed it with two layers of gesso and two layers of acrylic paint. 
For this cup, I use more of the Windsor Violet, the darker blue color, and less of the Titanium White. So I make these three cups and now I uh, first add a base layer and I'm going to use black and uh, this is the Amsterdam lamp black and it's the same mix. I use paint, um, glue, water and Yosonia polyurethane gloss varnish and this base layer should be a little bit thinner than the colors uh, for the ribbons because then it will slide a little bit better over my MDF board there you can see it and you can also see that I have a lot of air bubbles So this acrylic ribbon pour uh, is my base layer for um, the geode painting because I'm also going to add resin and some nice um, lines, gold and also mirror glass. There you can see my first ribbon. Pouring those lines on top of each other. Then my second ribbon, there you can see it. And my last ribbon, these are the lighter colors. And because the paint is thick, they will not blend uh, that much together. Now I'm going to tilt my MDF board because I have too much paint on uh, the surface so I need to pour paint off otherwise the paint will crack during drying so first side wave then top and bottom to create some nice lines there you can see it but I'm not satisfied with the top part And I'm also getting some lacing and that has all to do with the densities of your paints. What I already mentioned, there are opaque paints and transparent and semi-transparent. And if you combine those paints, then you can also create lacing. So I'm going to pour that part off. And then tilt it back. Yeah, I think it looks nice. So what I mentioned, uh, there are transparent, semi-transparent and opaque. And I used uh, three transparent colors and three opaque colors. And then you can create this kind of lacing or cells. But I'm satisfied with this uh, ribbon pour, so I will let it dry for at least three weeks and then I'm going to work on it again. So this is a close-up right after pouring. I wanted to show you how it looked up close. And I think it looks amazing. Some nice effects. There you can see some lacing effects. 
The colors go very well together. They look very vibrant, but yeah, as we all know, if it's dry, then the colors will get a little bit darker. But when you add the resin on top of it, then the colors will get more vibrant again. So I'm not uh, worried about that. But I think it looks very nice. But yeah, I need to wait because it still needs to dry and it can change a lot during drying. But so far I'm very pleased. And there are a lot of air bubbles in it, but I don't want to use my torch. Otherwise I will get those dots and I don't like it, so hopefully it will dry okay. But we will see and we will find out after three weeks when it's totally dry. So we are three weeks later and the painting is dry and it dried very well. I don't have any cracks, so that's great. Also no uh, uh, spots what I uh, mentioned because I had a lot of air bubbles. So now I'm going to add lines and I'm starting with a glitter line and this is a glitter pen from FIFA Decor. So on top of the purple ribbons I'm going to add uh, a thin glitter line and I like to work with these pens because you can make some really nice fine glitter lines now you can see it and you can buy different tips for these pens to make thin lines or a little bit thicker Yeah, and because I didn't use any silicon, I didn't need to clean it. Because if you add a resin on top of an acrylic painting and you used silicon, then you need to clean the painting. Because silicon doesn't go that well with uh, resin. Because if you leave it on, then you will get dry spots. The resin will not stick to that place. So, and you can clean it with some dish soap and uh, water. And then uh, you can add the resin on top of it. Now I'm using a Pebeo outliner. And this is in the color Pearl White. And I also love to work with these pens on top of uh, resin or in a silicon mold. But I thought why not use it on this acrylic ribbon pour if it's called a different then please let me know in the comments below this video because yeah I started years back with an uh, acrylic pouring but now I'm um, using resin much more but I thought why not uh, try some acrylic pouring again so I don't know how it's called this pour but if you know let me know in the comments below this video. So, uh, and until then, I will call this a ribbon pour. So, in different places, I'm using this Pebeo outliner in a very nice pearl white color. And another line. And 
Yeah, and I'm having so much fun, fun with uh, combining uh, acrylic pouring and resin. You can create some really nice effects if you combine those two. So now I'm using a, a gold color in some places, also a PBO outliner. And again a white line, a pearl white line. And I think it already has some great depth because of the purple ribbons on top of the uh, brown br copper uh, color. Yeah, but I don't want to add too much to this painting because I think it already looks very beautiful. So only some fine lines and a bit of uh, mirror glass in some places, but not too much. Another gold line. So I'm only going to use gold on the lighter uh, color, so not on the purple colors. And a line uh, in which I'm using a gilding liquid, and this is the gilding liquid from a Resin Pro in the color copper there you can see it in some places I'm going to add a gilding line Yeah, I always let my paintings dry for at least three weeks because then I'm sure that it's totally dry. Because it needs to be totally dry before I can add uh, resin on top of it. So I'm done with the fine lines and... Um, I need to let this dry before I can add a resin. So the lines are dry and now I'm going to add some mirror glass and I already added it onto a, the acrylic painting. So first a thin line of resin and then I push the mirror glass into that resin line. There you can see it. And I'm using my own mirror glass in the color Nature. You can find it in my Etsy shop. I have um, 10 colors. But I'm using the Nature color. 
So the link to my Etsy shop is in the description below this video. And I'm not only selling mirror glass, but I'm also selling mica pigments, uh, glitter flakes, mica flakes, and a lot more. And some of my supplies are also available in the USA and Canada by my associate Evelyn Schaefer. The link to her Etsy shop is also in the description below this video. So I'm not going to add too much uh, mirror glass just in some places because I think the painting already looks uh, very nice. So again, a thin line of resin and I'm using the resin from Resin Pro. It's the Art Pro resin, a medium viscosity resin. I like to work with this resin not only on acrylic paintings but also in silicon molds. I think it's a great resin and not too expensive. That's also important because resin is not uh, cheap. But this has a great quality and uh, a great price. As soon as I add a resin on top of acrylic, the, vib uh, the colors will get uh, much more vibrant. You will see it in a minute. But at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you a close-up, then you can see it much better. Adding a little bit more. And this mirror glass is, I think it's amazing because it's not too large. It's about 4 millimeters. And it sparkles a lot because it has a mirror side and a, a, a clear side or a colored side. I think it's, uh, it's very nice. Now I'm going to add a resin layer over the whole surface. There you can see it, the colors get vi more vibrant. Spreading the resin with my steering stick. Yeah, I'm very pleased how it looks. And some great effects and nice lines. So for sure I'm going to uh, try this technique again. I also want to mention that I have my own Facebook group, so if you are already using my Just Paint supplies together with other brands, that's no problem, then please share it in my Facebook group. I'm very curious what you all create. 
and I think we can learn from each other. So that's why I'm asking to uh, share it in my Facebook group. But the link to it is in the description below this video. Using my heat gun to remove air bubbles. And the torch. And then I'm done with this painting. I will let it dry and then I will show you all the end result. So this is the end result. I have it outside in the daylight and I have a lot of reflection of the light. But yeah, I can do nothing about that. But it's very difficult to film a resin. But yeah, I'm trying. So there you can see the mirror glass and the nice effects. The lacing effects without adding silicon. So I'm very pleased how this painting looks with the nice fine lines that I added with the PBO outliner. The colors are very nice. They go very well together. So let me know what you think of my uh, acrylic resin geode painting. I'm very pleased with the end result. So what are you thinking? I really would like to know. The links to the supplies I've used you can find in the description below this video. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and will give me a thumbs up for it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider it. I would appreciate it a lot if you subscribed. Don't forget my promo codes. I have several now. They are in the description below this video with some nice discounts. But for sure I'm going to experiment with this technique more. Because I really enjoyed doing this. And um, I want to thank you all for watching again. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.